podcast listeners and podcast enjoyers to The Podcast Man, episode 7. I have to ruin the normal intro that I do in this podcast always. Why? But yeah, this podcast, if you don't know, is basically a podcast where the host, aka, which is me, Roman, also known as the Armin, will ramble about things that have happened and or will happen. And uh, yeah, since the last episode, some interesting stuff happened. And... Uh, Wow, my brain already loses me right here. <laughs> yeah, the first thing that I want to talk about is actually, funny enough, what has been released on my YouTube channel today. Because after many, many months, finally they here. The Romans Twitch Clips Mega Compilation. And I'll make a collection like I sometimes said for some reason. If which if you don't know, which I also is the same as I always say for some reason, is well Roman's Twitch clips or short in short RTC is a little series that I did for well nearly well, five actually five years. And yeah, it's just a bunch of Twitch clips that I created, not of my channel but of other channels. And yeah, I have done f 10 different compilations with four, actually now five specials that are, it, it, at first I actually just gathered around a specific stream, but now it's more like a, oh yeah, look at all the, look at this streamer kind of stuff, like, yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy of the that it's finally here. Of course, something that I said in that video at the end is that with the mega compilation, it's also the end of RTC because I haven't really done an RTC for a long time. I say only look at how when RTC number nine came out and when RTC ten came out. Of course, there's RTC special number four. However, yeah, there was just something else. So, it is technically counted there, but between nine and ten, over a year. And uh, yeah, the end result now is a one hour long video of all those compilations combined except of course the fifth one and also i re-edited a few or i add added more stuff to it but for example for one clip adding this style up sound or mm, or zooming into his into a face while while somebody else is talking and so on of course i didn't really re-edit everything because they they, they because me. but most of them and uh yeah as i said at the end that rdc mega collection Compilation. Again, I don't know why I call it Mega Collection. Probably because of Sonic Mega Collection. You'll also hear me probably saying this at once. Again. I will come to that. And. Yeah, the reason is because, well, between 9 and 10, there was no RTC in there. But 10 was, was coming out over a year after RTC 9. And yeah, it is decided to, well, stop the series. 
However, it doesn't mean that I completely stopped the series. I mean, there can be some specials, maybe in the future. Or maybe some... A compilation of all the clips that are from my channel. From my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the Amon. And... Yeah. It's still interesting to see how it all started and how it's how it now ended this whole series. Because this series is one of the OG series of my YouTube channel. Because well, exactly today, five years ago, on October 17th, 2018, the first RTC was released. Which was funny enough, actually just a little... It, was, it is really funny how it, uh, it actually began, because at first it was just a compilation of all the clips that I made, which still is the main focus on RGC, but it's... But it now it did change into something else. Which I don't know currently because I hear it. I don't know. Well, I, uh, right, in what it changed to. And, uh, yeah. Of course, another thing that has been released is. Uh, did I? Nah, no, no, no. The last episode of the podcast, man, was before that. Because, um. <clears throat> What has also been released is the Elu Charlotte Supercut, which I talked about this in the last episode. It is just this all the vid highlight videos of the first episode of the Hello Charlotte series. And there are two more. And two spin-offs. And uh, yeah. It is, it is, it is, it's good. It's, it, it, it's good. It's good. I, I, I liked it. And yeah, it's also funny that after the release of Hel the Hello Charlotte Supercut, it's Hello Charlotte episode two part, yeah, part four. Oh, well, part, actually, Hello Charlotte part seven. That is my own little labeling there. And uh, yeah, some others. I mean, I also see right now between next to those, only three other videos came, were released. Hello Charlotte Part 6, which I announced, well, in the last episode of the Podcast Man. Then VTuber Connect Part 4? Yeah, Part 4. Which is funny enough, also the last video of my first stream of VTuber Connect. You have to think that's, that is the that is the it took me four videos to finish one stream. And then then last we have Sonic Frontiers Part Six. Oh no, Part Seven. And oh boy, Sonic Frontiers. The new update is finding out with the new story, new end boss, new blah 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 blah, blah. and I could technically do there something bad, 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 bad. Uh, I mean, I have finished Sonic Frontiers Part Ten, which is the final Sonic Frontiers part. However, because of update 3 of Sonic Frontiers, there's no more stuff, meaning that I have to, well, I have to record this and edit this new stuff. However, because Roman from, <coughs> Roman from the past decided to do something else, you know, um, uh, there was an update 1 of Sonic Frontiers, there was this, I think, was it update 1? And it was update one, where they added a new game plus, which is basically just Sonic Frontiers, 
from the beginning again but you keep all your stuff like if you have max attack max defense max boost max rings it's all going with you but you still have to do the story again and i kind of accidentally well overrode my save file so I basically have now to do the whole game again in New Game Plus. Yeah, it's really nice. So, yeah, of course, uh, because I well knew this, I in the final episode, I also added a little bit at at the very end after something happening I will not say it. I wrote some really before the moment a few seconds before the outro starts you see a text that says and the na new finale will happen next year <laughs> so which could also be that basically even at least in January or December next year 2024 and oh boy. I don't know when I will do this because mm. Mm -hmm. well, yeah I have also worked on other videos like for example finally exporting VTuber Connect Part 11 with the title Sister Power if you follow the editing streams where I edited most of the part, then you know what ha what is happening. If you don't, well, just wait till January 31st. And I also finished the Vine compilation that I worked on for the last few months, which if you don't know, which I should also stop saying this, is well a compilation of well wines that I seem very interesting uh, because if I look at this wine, I think of somebody from the Air Force. Of course, not. I mean, like uh, not the people who follow me because those are the Air Force members. But I mean, like. Lore. Yeah, that is. Yeah. And I will, I will tell you the video is going to be released on Halloween this year. Not next year. Oh god, not, not next year. And um, because of this specific thing. I don't want to talk about this now, but um... I've said I have hinted a few things here and there sometimes in the last few months. I can't wait. Yeah, and also something else is happening on Halloween, but I will talk about this at the end because yeah, it is it is something interesting. It is something interesting. Mm. Yeah, uh, something else that happened recently or will happen in the future. I mean, I, I mean, what has been happening is well, what is happening here in October because, well, two things happen in October always. One is my fundraiser event I call Fundoper, which is just well. The fundraiser that goes from October 1st till October 31st. So really through October. And yeah, this event is well happening every October, meaning it's an annual event. And well, for this year, I think I've also talked about this at, in one episode with um, that for this year. It's going to be funds go to Trans Lifeline. Why? Because uh, 
I had no other idea because the other thing that I wanted to do, well, I know that I talked about this because stuff. And uh, yeah, it is also the same trans left line that we raised. I think $90,000 back in August or July with the VDescent fundraiser or charity event. I have no idea exactly what's the difference. But yeah. The second thing that is also happening in October is um, what I call Spooky Day. Which is, well, basically me streaming a horror game on a on Saturday. My time. And uh, yeah, we uh, we already we are already two weeks in, and oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> because um, yeah, the first game that I played. Oh well, technically also series actually is called. I think I actually call it a series, but it's not really a series because there's only three games released, and um, yeah, only the first one has has a lot of games because the first game is actually a collection of games. Yeah, the fir the first one is also the name of that series called Tsukunoi and oh boy this game this this series is this is, it is interesting because first what do you think of a horror game well you either well, um, I mean Tuku Nui is not like any other horror game that I've actually played. It's not like DDLC, like a visual novel. It's not like Resident Evil or Silent Hill. Or like Five Nights at Freddy's. I mean, technically, it's, it, it is kind of it like Five Nights at Freddy's, but, uh, but not like Five Nights at Freddy's. Because what do you do in this game? Well... You walk from the right side of the screen to the left side of the screen. That's it. That is, that is the whole game. Of course, there's some 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 stuff happening. Like oh, suddenly there is a a face popping up right in your face, or oh, in the background there's something weird happening. Like oh, you see an eye, and then suddenly the door shuts. Or you see a big face in behind the fence. Or actually behind the gate. And the next time you come across this fence, that gate is open. And that is also how, how the first the first game in the in the first the collection is actually. And yeah, th th those ten games have different kind of theming. Like again, the first one is basically you're a guy walking home stuff happened then also I will not reveal what exactly happened because um, mm, uh, but yeah then the second game is you are a female high school student who goes back home so the third game is about the little girl coming home. Why are the first three games about 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 somebody coming from school going home? But yeah, the third game is about the gay little child just going home, meeting her mom, and well, then something happens to the mom, and then to the child too. So then the next game is also I'm looking at my archive by the way oh oh the fourth game is actually something very funny I I, I say it's funny but actually this the mm. yes in the fourth game something one particular thing happens 
And that is well. The character that you walk from the right side to the left side just decided to take off the shoes and uh, to do a little bit of swimming. I mean, uh, the, I mean, it sounds okay, right? I mean, it it is. It sounds okay. I mean, you well take off your shoes if you if you go to the beach. I mean, from street shoes, like literally street shoes. However, this character decided to... Oh, yeah, she takes off her street shoes. But the way she jumps into the water is not in the place that you actually normally jump into water. Unless you like bridges. I also have to say that this is a Japanese game. Uh, it is set in Japan. And, well... I think you can uh, kind of put one plus one together, right? One and one. It's also funny that with that fourth game, I made the um, new improv song called... No, no, during this whole game, I made a new improv song titled Going to the Left as Always. And it just goes, we're going to the left as always, we're going to the left as always, we're going to the left as always, we're going to the left as always. And yeah, with the fourth game, I decided to add now, you should never swim without shoes. Which, again, it sounds normal, but the implications from where it's from, yeah. So then, what was the fifth? What was the fifth one? What was the fifth one? Oh, the fifth one was about it was the cat one, where you are just literally a cat, just going on the way, going from one way to another. I mean, it is. I mean, the cat is 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 looking very cute. But, oh boy. So then, the sixth game is about... Uh, basically, again... Somebody from com coming from school, trying to get home. But this time it's you know, on the train. And for some reason this train has... Some of very in interesting lore implications because, hey... You know what's funny? I think it is... No. Nope. 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 I guess this, the seventh game is that thing, is it? Is it the seventh? Yeah, it's the seventh game. But yeah, the, in the seventh game, there's a few mentioning to of the fifth Six game, or was it? I don't know. Yeah, of the sixth, I mean the eighth game. It it has some mentioning of the sixth game, and because of one thing, and um, yeah, the seventh game is just a big no for me because uh, you are basically a girl, a girl walking into a warehouse full of dolls. And one thing I have to say here, I don't like dolls. So, yeah. It is, um, yeah. It is, yeah. And eighth game, it's about, uh, well, again, somebody going home from school. However, we learned that she had a twin sister that sadly well, passed away after well, getting hit by a drain on the rail, rail, rail crossing cross, crossroads. However, again, sixth game, you're on the train, 
Very go. Going home. Going home from school. Going from one part of the train to another because, well, it's closer to the ticket gate. However, on the uh, it changes and um, uh, goes train. There's the train. Did you also see in, in the sixth game that it, it is not the very that is cursed. And yeah, it, it this cursed factor is revealed in that eighth game. And yeah, they're done. It is actually the end of that actually. Except for there's two DLCs that you can get. One is about the supermarket, which is well, let's just say if you for some reason see a video of uh, of somebody in front of a mirror that somebody turns to you the, to the camera and for some reason the the well the reflection on the mirror does all that stuff. Well, that is basically this one DLC. The other game is up. Uh, it's funny enough about Kiss Time and Hmm That was That one had more effect on me for some reason as the other games before <laughs> Like the other games before before the Kiss Noir one they were okay they were a few jump scares there were a few chills but at the end of the Kiss Noir one I was just <clears throat> And yeah, it took me four and a half hours to finish this game. <laughs> Even though it is sad that like that the game takes only thirty minutes, like thirty minutes from going one side of the screen to the other. For me, it took me uh, four or four hours more. But yeah. Of course, there's the two other games. One is called Zombie Scream, where you are a dreamer, content creator, who just goes to the nearby laundry to wash the clothes until then one day something, a weird smell escapes. I think it's the name. Is it the right word? Okay, you just smell a weird smell. And well, even though the name is called, even though the game is called Zombie Scream, it's not really zombies. Not the zombies that you think of. I, I may only reach this. Oh, hi. And fish. Both my censored version for F U C K. And what is actually happening? <laughs> So yeah, if you see a fish in that game, you know. <laughs> and if you don't, well, it's okay. And then the final game that I played for well, the first book day was Evil God Corona. Which is, I think, even in color between Hololife and well, the developers of that game. And, or the series, and oh. Oh. One, one thing though. One thing that I like is actually because you can get two endings in the, in that game. One is the normal ending, which you get in every game of the at, of that series, where you just walk from one side to the other side. However, the second ending is basically you just you just do the same stuff until the fourth day or third day. I don't remember anymore. And then instead of doing what the able is happening, you just continue walking. You just continue walking. That's it. And that ending is funny. Like one thing is here to note. Of all the characters in any horror game. The 
it's 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 really good to that there is this one police officer that he don't give a fish he doesn't give a fish at all like he literally punches corona so so she stops the thing that that this game is about that one and uh, yeah it is, it is, it is, that, that is definitely one funny moment there. Yeah, that was actually the first book day of this year. Yeah, the others, the others game that I played was, or actually games that I played were, well, they were very indie. Like the first one is called Reflexia, where you are basically a player who's just playing a normal visual novel, or dating simulator, or arrow okay, if you want it that way. Even if you want, I, 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 I say I want visual novel. I want the visual novel. I don't want arrow okay or uh, okay dating sim uh, visual novel, just novel. And yeah. One thing to note here, if if you don't want your your character bringing the fourth wall, it's good to not play that game. Because, yeah, she will break the fourth wall right in the first moment. Like, you start the game, you choose the language, you say start game, and then, oh, hi, I can see you, how's it going? <laughs> One thing to note though is that the developer really, really made a nice job with the using the Steam achievement system. <laughs> because there's stuff that is, is kinda interesting. Like for example. Um basically the first Achievement that you get is, well, opening the game. And, well, the name is just, just B, B64 stuff. Which, funny enough, only 98% of all players really got this achievement. Like, this achievement is what you get, right? When you, when you have chosen your language. How do you say, okay, I choose this language and it's, it's spooky. I just go, I just say quit. Yeah, then. Um, what is this called? Wait, it's not, it, not, it's not in the game. Never has been. And yeah, the developer really had, I think, very much fun with the Steve achievement system. But also, the same creator also currently works on a remake. I mean, it's called a remake, but it's, yeah, I mean, it, it, it is a remake, actually. It's really, really nice looking remake. Like new character design, new R in general, maybe even some new story. And hey, it is it is actually nice. I want to make even a highlight video of that game. Because I this is not the only game that I played because I also played a game another game in that stream called Marinette. Where you are a little girl whose father suddenly passed away, but a day before your 11th birthday, your older sister gives you a doll. The reason also why it's also kind of explained why the older sister is not allowed to interact with Marinette, who is well, the character we play. Because Maybe it's because of the rumor that all the dolls somehow can speak. 
and yeah in the night from to your 11th birthday stuff happens or well, not spoil it but yeah it is good i only played the demo and oh boy i had one thing One thing is that at one point you have to play the circle game. Which if you have no idea what the, the circle game is, well, you're in luck. Because you are... Well, you've actually not played it or have any experience any horror thing. But... Yeah, the circle game is basically it's basically a, a nice game where you say where someone sits in the middle, people go around in circles, which is well the name it's called the circle game, and then you have to guess who's behind you. And yeah, I mean, I mean it, it sounds fun, but um, yeah, the thing is, um, there are two things that are connected with this name, with, with Kagome Kagome, which is the Japanese name of the of the circle game. I think I I don't know. And um, yeah, I don't like this at all. Like, one, for example, is, um, well, mm. actually, there's two things, but actually, also one, there you come to mind, because, um, Kagome Kagome is also a creepypasta, which... Well, it is it is complicated. Let's just say this. Uh, the short, very very short version is that back in World War Two, some German scientists, I think, just went to Japan into the into the woods, found an orphanage, and tried to experiment on them to remove the fear and the fear switch to make them into killing machines yeah I mean that, that is that is something like a normal classic creepypasta I have to admit it the only problem is that it gets not very good like for example you have um, what one one girl has um, has lost her left left arm. Um. Then one other girl who has um, had changed her her color into a very interesting color. <laughs> then of course, all the stuff like like. <laughs> <laughs> At first, you think it's it's part of, of something that happened, but then it just turns into no. With and I will read this from the Baby Buster fandom portion about this story now, <clears throat> because well, this is what happened if you if it happens. <clears throat> oh, also the 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 where it happens is Hiroshima. But yeah, Ahem. if you go to Hiroshima, go around the woods and you may find some dirt trails there. If you travel down them, you will see beautiful forts. But if you travel down one that had, has had signs of trucks going through, 
you will feel cold and you'll see that a lot of trees are cut down but don't wander from the path or you'll likely get lost in those vast woods if you pay attention you will notice that the tree stumps look like kneeling people missing your heads if you continue the air will get cold naturally because you're climbing uphill right of course eventually you will reach a clearing with an old stone building in the center vines covering the place go inside if you want to play as soon as you open the door a foul smell will come out similar to that of a rotten corpse if you look down the hall it will be dark regardless of the time of day since there are no lights continue down the hall take the first left and then go down that hall until you see one door that appears to be made of of a red colored wood the rest of course are problem. open the door you will find 10 happy children and caretakers are wearing kimonos playing in a normal playroom one is missing her arm, another is missing his forehead, and a third lacks a jaw. But are all managed with clinical precision. The place should be very clean and tidy, depending on your standard of such thing, and will live. At once your presence will draw the attention of everyone in the room, including the ones that look far too preoccupied for distracted they will turn to look at you carefree smiles from each of their pleasant faces the head caretaker in all her brood you will ask will you come play with us by this time you haven't sold your pants you really should they'll save you the trouble later if you say no the door will sh slam shut on you and if you try to go down the hallways, out to out the exit, you will only find another dark hallway. Open many of the brown doors and you should find operating tables or bunk beds. If you continue down the third hallway, you will realize that a girl is standing several meters behind you. Her face is shrouded by shadow. Approach it and you expect your doom. Continue down the hallway and try not to let her catch up with you. If you say yes, however, you will be welcomed into the room. The door will close behind you and everyone will form a circle around you. This is just, I think, half of the... Okay, actually, this is near the end. Ahem! <coughs> Now sit down and don't flinch, a cheerful voice will say. Just follow the instructions and you will survive. All light will disappear from the room, yet you can see the circle of children, each with a vicious expression on their faces. Once a while, you will probably flinch straight up. If you can't stomach that, stomach that, so you will begin to move around and around you, slowly. You may feel one of them lash far towards you. If you look, however, there will be nothing there, besides the children circling normally. If that wasn't enough, they will begin chanting, Kagome, Kagome. I really can't explain any further. No one ever lives to tell the tale of what happens then. If you flinch before they chant, they simply continue as normal. If you choose to say maybe to the head caretaker or anything other than yes or no, it is told that the children's expressions will turn mortifying, sarcastic almost, and they will scream in inhuman voices, Decide! Decide! If you do anything besides say yes or no from here, it is told that the children and caretakers will slam the door on you. If you turn around, the story varies. Supposedly, your worst fear will be waiting at the other end of the hallway, separating you from your exit. Most notably, this caretaker is Akamanto, or the Rake. The least you could do is greet the creature before he tears you onto oblivion. 
If he has the capacity, he may be able to respond. And you will die as a polite person. Don't greet him, and you will end up as soon as one. Another one of the beheaded bodies along the trail. If you, if you respond, I don't understand. And you must be genuine. The head caretaker will say, Go to your school and watch your children play. You should understand then. Nothing will have changed and close the door on your way out. It's common courtesy, after all. Yeah. Of course. If you don't want to listen to the whole thing, you can also listen to the Vocaloid song. Which actually gave me the first time I heard about this. And I don't. It is, it is terrifying. Like the melody. And basically the song kinda tells you the story. And yeah. It is just. I want to just also tell you please please don't look any further off that if if you want to hear a story like that it's okay but if you don't then good you will not get for I will not be scared for life or now I mean it it, it will happen I won't wonder, okay and yeah it were only the first two weeks of spook day and well, the upcoming week will be, oh well, the upcoming Saturday will be um, also interesting. I mean, it is going to be indie and in indie games again, or it will be two games. I will not tell you right now what it is, but it is, it is interesting what I heard of, especially because it's basically, I will play the the prequel and then the sequel. That I think also it is that the, the developer also released will release a polished version, re, full version on Steam at one point, or already has it. No, no, they already released the full version on HIO. And yeah, that is what happened. I don't know how to continue now. Like, I have really nothing else to talk about. I mean, hmm. Anything actually rough video wise, like that I have worked on other videos. Well, I have or that I worked on the intro video that I. that is well used for well, my streams. Or. The reason why it is because um but, 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 what do I want to say? Normally I have an intro video that showcases a little bit of stuff before the stream actually starts. However, I decided that for each week in October I will change it a little bit. Like for example the first week the The video slowly glitches out. Then last week, suddenly there was there was a lot of reverb to the point where it kind of sounds like a dream. And well, for this week, or well for the streams for this week, I I added something. I will not tell you what it is, but it is something very interesting, and I like it. And well, for the final week. I want to have it really nice, like nice, nice. But yeah, also because I talked about this before during the Roman Stitch Clips com compilation, make a compilation thing. Um, I because I have recorded myself, 
I have also done a few bloopers of my recording, which I then added to my blooper reel, which I also decided to release at the end of this year. Yes, uh, it is, it is, it is, yeah, it, it just fits. Also, currently I have about five minutes, yeah, five, five minutes of this and it's just nice. I, I like it because it really shows you all the recordings that I did this year from my first video of the year, which was an update video, then of my three point of my our first members count video for this year. Which is also the one where I revealed the 24-7 Twitch, Twitch VOD archive stream. Then my 2.0. Uh, my VTuber 2.0 model highlight video. And yeah, on Twitch Gips compilation. Make a compilation. Thing. I'm, I'm currently watching what I said there. Did I? Do? Especially what part of the blue is. One thing. of correcting because there was something that I don't want so mm -hmm. yeah, stop it. it's also funny I just... the fact that that I talk about adding stuff to the blooper reel with the RTC mega compilation recording is just because I literally worked on the blooper reel before recording this. <laughs> it's just a little fun fact here. And one one funny funny thing is really what I uh, is me saying brain not working and I added we've already established that. <laughs> brain not working. Yes, we know, Roman. You are you. Your brain is 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 a weird thing. And if you say no, uh, did you listen to the beginning? Did you? I hope. Because if not, then just go. Ju just go to back to the beginning. Okay. Then 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 listen to me what I said and then then yeah. Yeah, I also had a, a little recording for the Alpha Force Rank compilation, and the, there is also. There is a, yeah. I, I, I said in the recording, I, I know that I add this into the proper reel that will come out at the end of the year. I it is noise. I also said that it's going to be a kind of a yellow thing.
I, I don't know what to say you. And out to that. One thing I should also finally work on is um, the little special for my YouTube channel, which I think I did I actually say this, but um, yeah, my YouTube channel has gone very good, like very good. Like I I said this in the stream, but um, I decided in the last two weeks in September that I do something new and it was um um making a little ad space for my youtube channel with my channel trailer and i thought oh, i mean you can yeah i can try i can try doing this it will be interesting though and yeah, Roman for the best, it will be interesting because you have turned your your three hundred and twenty subscriber big channel to now nearly one point seven K. I have by by adding a a little ad on my channel with my channel trailer I've pushed my own channel from 300 to 1 to nearly 1.7k subscribers if my past me ever knew about this Cables would have flown, would have flown away. And ah, that is <laughs> that is why I decided also to make a little special video, which is just basically an old video, but newer with new stuff that I still need to figure out how I do this because there are just a lot of videos there. <laughs> a lot of videos. I can't. Because no, no, I will not say it now what it will be. I think I talked this about it in the last editing stream probably. But I will talk about this probably more in the upcoming editing stream, which is happening maybe probably definitely in on first day. Meaning by for the people who watch this live in two days and for the people who listen to this after it's released everywhere it's it's happening in a day and yeah i will also talk a little bit about other things and oh but i also can talk about this uh finally a little bit about life works again you know the thing that i talked about the last two episodes yeah, also, I know that I talked about all that because a few days ago I, I listened to the to those last two pod, podcast episodes, which I kind of uh, got me the idea to make the seventh episode. So th this week, which is now, <coughs> but yeah, I have kind of fixed my little problem with Lightworks. Lightwork is still a little bit a little bit iffy. However, instead of using the release version, which is actually would be good but reasons, I'm currently using the hmm? Hmm. oh wait what or is this a different Oh, they released already the, the new version for... Huh. Okay, I will, I will check this out later. But yeah, um, I have updated Lightworks to the beta, which is not it's not very hard. You just download the beta installer and then just install it like normal and then you just have it there. But yeah, um, this version is 
kind of interesting because um, it fixes a lot in well, the importing process of your videos. Which, if you have no idea, it sounds weird. But for me, it just means that, well, it is now better performance wise. I have not so many issues anymore than in the last few many parts of me editing live. But yeah, there can still be some errors. And yeah, Lightfox is still Lightfox. Now I know, and Lightfox just decided to just go, like literally just. Then you just have to restart Lightfox again. Also, yes, I just muted myself because because Lightfox freezing. I like this joke. <laughs> uh, of course. I, even though Lightfox still has those problems, I still like it. It is nice. It is a good, well, brain, brain. It is a good thing, in my opinion, because especially if you consider that if you want to go into video editing, but don't want to waste a lot of money for well, the program or even plugins or effects, Lightbox is a good entry level because it is free. You don't have to buy the licenses. Like really, you if you, if you want to upload a video to YouTube, actually you can do this now. I have tried it. It failed, <laughs> but somehow it also worked. Like, I mean, it kind of worked. I mean, it's more like a, it was processing in the YouTube processing hell for many days. Well, the video that I exported then, then got was already uploaded after an hour. After uploading it, well, the other one that I uploaded through Lightfox took days, technically. I mean, it's it. If I hadn't said, okay, you know what, just just delete this in YouTube, in YouTube, in the YouTube Studio. If I still had the load, would have it would have been still loading even on the day where the actual really video should have been released. But that's just a me problem. I can't really tell if you also have this problem. Also, I've, that's the free version, actually. I don't know also really if the free version actually export for free. I I'm I'm looking. I will look now. Okay. So um. Production. Nope, that is not the thing. Uh, okay, just normal user guide. Import. Nope, nope, export. Uh, can you, could you please tell me how to what is limit for free and what is what is what can um, oh oh okay, okay if you edit for free or use Lightfox for free, which just means you have basically just the basic stuff with well, editing. You can export in 27, 20p 
automatic saving, which is actually standard for everything because it, it, it is nice because, hey, if sli if Lightworks crash and it freezes, hangs itself, or even your PC crashes, hangs itself, <laughs> okay, like this. or other stuff, don't worry. Okay, actually, with other stuff, I mean, like, anything that, that can still be fixed by other stuff. But if, if, if for example, your PC blows up, then, uh, yeah. And the drive is definitely not recoverable. Then, yeah. Unless you, unless you back it up onto the cloud, then, okay, then that's something else can you even do this in the in the normal one? Could you please tell me if it uh, if it if it if it does if it does? No, it doesn't say it. Okay. But yeah, um, yeah, automatic saving, nice. Advanced transitions, it is also nice. Simple VFX effects. Which, yeah, is, uh, is, uh, is for example zoom or turning or well mirroring the the video so it is either upside down, everything on the right side is on the left and everything on the left side is on the right, or just the, the crisscross other stuff and also you can install community effects, which is for example the glitch effect that I use for my Currently for the hello uh, October intro starting soon videos and yeah you can start with Lightworks free after you get some more experience you can change it change into a different editing program like I don't know Premiere Sony Vegas when she resolve. Those are also the only phones that I know of, currently, or my think of. And yeah, of course, you can still stick with Lightworks, like I do. And also, maybe also get uh, a better license because of reasons, because hey, you can, uh, if, 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 you, if you get the, the next tier, you can even export into 4K. Uh, and oh, a resolution proxy editing. Okay, I don't know what this means. A resolution proxy editing. Because you can make proxies in Lightworks, which turns your, let's say, your 1080p video into 360p. Which means it's going to be pixelated. However, this pixelation is just well, just for you editing, so your potato PC can still handle your 1080p. Even though I just wonder how how it actually recorded it in 1080p if you have a potato PC. But that doesn't matter. Maybe maybe you edit for a different for a friend. Could be. Could be. So yeah. You can just say, okay, light folks, turn this 1080p video into with into a 360p video by proxy. So potato PC is still good. It runs smoothly, hopefully. And then when you export, instead of using this proxy version, it actually uses the original source video. So the 1080p version. And then, yeah, you have a 1080p video edited while you edit it with a 360p version and yeah it's a nice thing i don't know if any of the other editing programs actually have have this kind of feature i mean it would be nice of course automatic safe that is the best thing actually <laughs> i had no really i think if i remember correctly when I first edited with Lightworks, I was so okay. Where do I save? There, 
there's no, I don't see any save function. Where's the save? And then I, I just took, okay, maybe it has auto save. I want to try it. I'm just closing, opening. It has automatic save. Nice. Best way to, to try this. Edit a video, then wonder where the save button is, and then close the program. <laughs> Please don't do this. But yeah, um, the reason why I'm telling... The reason why I'm telling you this is, first off, it seems they fixed the performance, but which was very good, which is very good for me. And yeah, I also got some one to start editing with Lightworks. Even though actually then they asked me to edit a video in Lightworks by myself, even though they could have. <clears throat> Which is also funny because I didn't actually use Lightworks that, that morning. But yeah, I personally also call Lightworks not really completely a feature rich editing program that they it compares to Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas, DaVinci Resolve, or other ones. I think it's more a professional Windows Movie Maker. Professional part is it's well, you have more effects, more transitions, more more stuff that you can add. College video effects, turning your video upside down. Turning to your video into literally pixel art <laughs> and stuff, but still edit like you you still edit in Windows Movie Maker. Nothing. Which is, again, Firefox is a good starter program. You can start with Lightworks and then move up to an, a different one if you want. My my lazy butt decided to just no. I stick with Lightworks and it's good. It's good, Ig while ignoring the problems <laughs> with Lightworks that it had. <coughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I think I will try also to download the newest release. Hope that still the stuff is still the same. So that in case, and if, so if in case something breaks, that nothing breaks. Like everything that is still there is still there and everything that that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, even that the uh... raid what you want to say here I hope that even with the newest release that the editing stream on Thursday goes smoothly without me nearly raging because of Lightworks being Lightworks. You know, it's a, I, I say this because it, it is I, I did a funny joke, but yeah, if, if, they, if they fix it more, then yeah. yeah. Then definitely I will stop saying saying Lightfox is being like this. Then Lightfox is being like this. It's just basically the same. And uh, yeah, I also think it's good to end this year. So yeah. Of course, would we'll also just keep it there, but um, I have nearly forgotten to say something specific that I have teased in the beginning. And that is, well, the next Podcast Man episode is happening on, um, is happening on Halloween. It will be a special episode with a special guest that you may know, you may know, maybe you don't. 
I think mostly everybody who watched me on on YouTube knows exactly who it could be. If you don't, then hmm? then hmm. And yeah, is Apple had. <laughs> The special Halloween episode will also be the only. No, 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 no. It will not be the only episode, special episode. Um, I will only do those special episodes with that person. Maybe, maybe not. I will also do something, but um, that person is not the planned guest that I talked about this. I talked about in the last many hard episodes simply because of well I want it I want to at least have that uh, the person be a guest in episode 10 at least it could be it could be earlier maybe later uh, not no yet but mm, I'll have to write down all everything that I need and um Yeah, for everybody who's watching the this episode, of course, live on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash the I will let you go to somebody else who is currently in a nice, interesting, I would say calming, but it's not really calming. <laughs> because it's actually a game that I actually completed that I wanted to start actually in the, in the stream, but because of no... It's just no. And yeah, for everybody who's watching this later, when it's released on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Castbox, and other platforms like Radio Public. I would say also Google Podcast, but that thing is, is going to die certainly next year, so... Mm. And, yeah. Hopefully, I you can listen to the other episodes. Maybe join me on the other pl platforms. Or follow me on other social media, like vtsocial. vt.social slash at the Armin, or youtube.com slash at the underscore armin for highlight videos and sometimes streams of course you can also watch all the twitch streams in that 24 7 twitch world archive live stream or just watch it on my archive channel youtube.com slash at the underscore archive you can also you can also you can also follow me on other social medias. Most of them are listed under the tab socials on my website, thearmin.eu. And uh, yeah, I wish you all a wonderful first day. No, Tuesday, not first day, Robin. Tuesday. And until then, special Halloween episode. Here, Airman. <laughs>